Hello everyone and welcome to the RV Inspection and Care channel. I'm Dwayne and I'm a certified RV inspector. And today we're going to be talking about the best vehicles overall for flat towing behind an RV. Yes, it's true, RVers, especially the ones with motorhomes, they love to take other vehicles along with them. And no wonder, because who wants to be driving a big old motorhome around town when you can have an around town vehicle instead? But if you're going to do that, you're going to bring that along on the trip. Why do you want to have two vehicles you're driving down the road at the same time that means two drivers, it means all that extra fuel and wear and tear on the engine and so on, why not just tow it instead? And if you're going to tow it, well, flat towing is certainly a way to go on that. In fact, we are flat towers ourselves. That's what we do. Um, and here's a picture of our rig, so you can actually see it here. And as you see, we use a little Honda CRV, and boy, do we love that CRV as our around town vehicle. It's really been great for us uh, over the years. Now, in the past, I've made a video about flat towing, and it's been pretty popular. It's about the pros and the cons of flat towing, so that you can kind of figure out whether it's something you want to do or not. You know, with everything involved in RVing, doesn't matter almost any way you go, there's going to be pros and there's going to be cons. And so in that video, I tried to discuss that. That way you know whether it's something you want to do or not in your RV travels. But today's video is not about that. It's about the best vehicles to use for flat towing. It's assuming that at this point, you've decided, yeah, I want a flat tow. So now, what vehicle would you choose? Well, we're going to talk about that. And when I say the best vehicles for flat towing, what I'm really meaning is these are the ones I see out on the road all the time. These are the ones I've talked to a lot of flat towers, and they told me uh, a lot of them about these particular models. So let's go ahead and get started on the list. And I'm trying to break the list down into categories, so it's a little bit easier to understand. But the first category is all to itself. And believe it or not, the first category is really one uh, vehicle manufacturer, and that is Jeep. I mean, Jeep gets it when it comes to flat towing vehicles because they make a lot of models that can be used to uh, be flat towed behind RVs. But there's certain models that are more popular than any others. And we're going to start with a Wrangler because, <laughs> I mean, we all see them going down the road, right? I think that's the number one vehicle I see being flat towed. And it's a great idea to flat tow a Wrangler, if, especially if you like to do off-roading because uh, that that rig will get you just about anywhere you want to go and really take you on some great adventures. Now, around town, it's not quite as comfortable as some of the other choices, but for uh, versatility and flexibility, you really can't uh, beat uh, the uh, Jeep Wrangler. Now, closely related to that is the Gladiator. The Gladiator is kind of a new model that's come out in the past few years. And it's uh, essentially the Wrangler, but they put a truck bed on the back of it there. So that makes it even more flexible. So those are great, great models to use for flat towing. But I see a lot of folks that go for the Grand Cherokee and the Cherokee as well. If you want to have comfort while you're driving around town, and you want to be able to do it in style, well, then the Grand Cherokee especially is going to be great for you. And a lot of the Cherokee models, again, they can go places you wouldn't think that uh, it might be able to go. So the only thing to keep in mind is that the Grand Cherokee and the Cherokee uh, are only flat towable in certain four-wheel drive models. So keep that in mind. All right, let's go away from the Jeeps now. Those are 
a great way to start your search for a flat tow vehicle. But suppose you want to have a full size pickup you want to take along with you because it just allows you to do almost anything you want to do wherever you go. The good news is you can choose from almost any brand out there, the major brands. You know, we're talking about Chevy and GMC, Ram or Ford. There's models in every line that can be used for flat towing, but you're pretty much restricted to four wheel drive models. Uh, just make sure you pick the right one. Make sure you do your research on that. Well, do you have to have a full size pickup? The good news is that you can even use light duty pickups. There are flat towable light duty pickups. Uh, Chevy and GMC put out the Colorado or Canyon, which is essentially uh, the same type of vehicle. Ford puts out the Ranger. And both of them are very flat towable, but only in certain four wheel drive models. All right, now how about SUVs? Well, the SUV that seems to be the, the most popular out there by far at this point is made by Chevy and GMC. It's the Chevy Equinox and its equivalent, the GMC Terrain. Excellent vehicles. Again, if you want to be able to go around town and really have a measure of comfort, then this is a way to go. That'll really help you do that. Uh, but it's only in certain models, certain configurations that uh, will be available for flat towing. So you've got to do a little research in that area, but excellent vehicles for flat towing. Finally, we're going to talk about compact cars because a lot of people like the idea of the compact car. I mean, it's economical, it's lightweight. So if you're a little concerned about how much weight you're going to be towing, well, this is a way to go because you never have to worry about it with some of these compact cars. And the first one on the list is the CRV. I love mine. It's only 3,500 pounds. Uh, the issue and problem there is that Honda no longer makes it as a towable uh, vehicle, flat towable vehicle. And so you got to go back pre-2014. But uh, believe me, people are still buying them back in those years because the CRV is probably the most popular vehicle overall for flat towing for many reasons. Now, what if you want a new one, though, a new compact car? There's a couple that I see being used a lot. Number one is the Chevy Spark. Um, it's only 2,400 pounds. My goodness, you know, that's really, really light. Uh, you have to only use the manual transmission version for it to be uh, towable, but it's really a light, economical uh, uh, vehicle to use. Also, the Fiat 500, I'm seeing this more and more and more on the road. Fiat's, again, it has to be a uh, standard transmission, so you've got to be able to use the stick shift on the floor there, but it's only 2,500 pounds, and they are fun little cars. Great economy, uh, very uh, good on gas mileage, so these are good choices for compact cars for flat towing. All right, now those are, are my choices for the best overall cars in various categories for flat towing as of 2022. Now, is that all the cars that can be used for flat towing? Oh no, not by a long shot. There's a lot more. Unfortunately, every year it seems like there's less and less that the car manufacturers are making to be able to be flat towed, but there's still quite a few out there that can be uh, chosen. But the ones I've given you are the ones that I see more often than any others. So clearly they are ones that are favorites. Now, before you buy any vehicle though, for flat towing, be sure you do your homework. Check the manual before you buy. Make sure that manual tells you what is required for flat towing, or even if it can be flat towed. 
make sure that you also find out the weight of that vehicle and that it's going to match the hitch that you're going to use to tow it because that's an important consideration. Now, if you're not sure about any of these things, then call the manufacturer and ask them directly. Now, and when you got them, ask them about, is there anything else I should know about flat towing this vehicle? Because believe it or not, there are sometimes some speed limitations that come with certain vehicles, like my CRV. I can't go over more than 65 miles per hour flat towing. That's fine with me because I don't even go that fast anyway. Uh, I think uh, those of you who've seen my videos on, on uh, road travel, you know I don't do that. But it's a consideration maybe for others. Uh, there could be other requirements for towing that you need to know about as well. So look into all of that through the manual, talking to the manufacturer, uh, the dealer, and so on and get the facts before you buy. Now, remember that towing is also going to require arranging for braking and lighting in this towed vehicle. So keep that in mind. It's not a matter of just hitching up in the back and going. You've got to have braking and lighting set up correctly to be safe. Now, either the those systems can either be built in in other words, someone wires the vehicle for it. And if that is the case, that's going to be an expensive little thing. I can tell you that right now. Super easy though. I mean, connecting and disconnecting is like a breeze when you've got it all built into the vehicle. But it could also be uh, arranged in an auxiliary manner. In other words, you can have auxiliary lights and braking. Maybe lights that go on the back, magnetic lights, or a braking system works by inertia in the, in, in the front seat area. Uh, those work fine, but to, and they'll be a lot cheaper, but uh, you just got to recognize that setup and takedown is going to be a little bit longer as a result. Now, the only alternative to flat towing really is dolly towing and most of the time it's two-wheel dolly towing. But we're not gonna get into that today. It's just too much of a video to make to include that. There will be, though, a video coming up soon discussing vehicles to use for uh, tow dolly uh, towing as well. So stay tuned and we'll cover that. Well, that's it for now. Have safe and happy travels, my friends. Until next time.